So if you are a lover of cinema, I'm sure you would have watched movies like The Brokeback Mountain, Milk with Sean Penn who got an Oscar for that, Moonlight, Boys Don't Cry. The world has been talking about LGBTQI rights for a very long time. In India now, Supreme Court has officially termed them as a third gender and told them that they have the right and the dignity to live life with dignity and with everyone's support. Who would have thought that an Indian movie would be made on a popular Indian platform with Madhuri Dixit, the Queen of Hearts, and it will be received with such love? This movie certainly warrants and deserves a lot of conversations, and that speaks a lot about the changing India and the changing conversations and the discussions that we are ready to have. Or kisse Madhuri Dixit se baat karenge and the director of the film, Anand Tiwari. You have lived in America for a very long time, and now you're here. Would you have thought in the 90s that a film on this issue would be made. You would be the lead actress portraying a role like that. What does it say about the changing India? You also are mother to grown up boys who I'm sure would be, uh, who have lived in two continents, on two sides of the world. Yes. What do you think about the changing India, the changing entertainment and this film? Yes, I did live there and I'm living here now. Um, but having done that mm. and having said that that's a very developed country, as is a developing country, mm. um, the uh, biases are the same though. Oh, really? Yes. Um, yes, in the cities and all, people are accepted and, you know, everything is uh, there. But still, in the roots of it, mm. like if you go to the interiors, you go, you know, uh, to places, mm. there's still a stigma attached. Mm. And, and nothing's different in India too. There is stigma. And now, with, like you said, with the judgment coming out, yeah. I think it's a little more open now open. than it, it used to be. I, I was just listening to Anand and he, he said a very good thing that the problems at that time that we tackled were very different. Mm. Like say a Dil or a Beta. Yeah. You know, uh, in Beta it was more about your the woman's rights, yeah. empowerment. Mm. Prithyudan was about empowerment. Yes. When I did Prahar, it was yes. uh, again about, you know, uh, women and, yeah. you know, all that. Uh, it was, uh, so I think we were still in that phase, mm. you know, mm. when we were doing movies at that time. Mm. Now I think we have the problems are changed, um, you know, the society is changing. Mm. Women are a little more empowered than what they used to be. Mm. Um, but we are still speaking about that. Mm. And we are speaking about, uh, uh, you know, the, the other community also. Mm. Mm. So um, I think with time, things change and then you want to, art imitates, you know, mm. uh, life and life imitate arts as they say. Mm. So I think today, and also I think with the, uh, coming in of OTT mm. um, and all these platforms, I think uh, we are a little freer to talk about different topics mm. because when you take a film to a theatre, you have to think about, um, you know, what works, the what commerce. doesn't work, mm. every, the commerce of it. Every Friday is mm. going to be like a mm. test of what's going to happen. Mm. And I think that takes away from the movie and what we are going yeah. to talk about. It's more for entertainers and, you know, those kind of things mm. with, with the topic. Though I think we have kind of said... Um, our bit with not a not a boring film. Yeah, it's it's very entertaining. At the it same is. time, there's a message in it. It is. Uh, but OTT takes you immediately to 240 countries yeah. and a wider audience when you come on OTT. Yeah. And I think it's given you the freedom to tell stories the way you want them to be told. And yeah. uh, you know you have that freedom yeah. to um, you to to make the kind of yeah. movies you want to make. Yeah. But so, I'm talking about the industry, how it perceived. Commercial entertainment, mm. then and now. You work with... Uh, See, the thing is, when I was working, mm. I, I never thought of commercial and art film. Mm. Because I have done Rityudan, at the same time I have done Dil To Pagal Hai. I have done uh, Dharavi, I have done, um, uh, you know, Prahar. Correct. At the same time I have done Dil, Beta and yeah, other yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it, it's just playing different roles. That's true, that's and true. that's what I've always done and that's what I continue to so do. So it has always been... Madhu Dikshit telling the producers what to make, not the other way around. The producers <laughs> don't tell her what to do because she knows what to do. See, the good thing about the Madhu Dikshit is that <laughs> she is always in a producer, writer, director's mind. कि कहाँ शिये जो कहानी है मैं माधुरी दीक्षित के थ्रू कह सकूँ तो हम उनमें से हैं जिनको कहने का मौका मिला करेक्ट और प्रोड्यूसर्स तो ये तक कहते हैं माधुरी दीक्षित हाँ कर दें हम कहानी बदल देंगे लेकिन वो हाँ कर दें सो एंड एंड दिस इज सच अ प्राउड मोमेंट एंड अ फी
healing for women in this country because um, I was at a get together yesterday uh, with 200 people all from South Bombay and many people were talking about Madhuri's new house in Worli. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people have asked me to congratulate you. Uh, so Miss Madhuri Dixit has just recently purchased a beautiful house in South of Bombay and uh, it is a very subtle signal to all women who who have a chance, who have a ray of light that they can start off their professional life at any given point in their career. Even if they are just housewives or professionals before getting married, even if they have children, you can be an entrepreneur, you can be an artist, you can be on your own at any point in life. So Anand Tiwari, you would have known, uh, I always thought of him as this cute sa chera hai, bade sare ads mein dikhta hai. But he is a producer, hai, director, hai. he has his own production house and he's directed two very mature films called Love Per Square Fit, Foot with Vicky Kaushal and the other was Bandish Bandits, some people say that Bandish Bandits, but it's a very mature story on music, Western and Indian classical and how two people can understand or use music as in different ways. One can use it as rebellion, one can use it as going back to their roots, whatever. So that's a mark of a good storyteller who has maturity in, in the back of his mind. Anand, have you introduction? Very good. I will take it and take it and take it and take it to every place. Because you don't listen to such a long story. We are humble, but it's important uh, for you to know about him. This is a nice appreciation for the movie. I thought that one is Gajraj Rao. इस देश के सबसे लव्ड हस्बैंड्स हैं आजकल मतलब अमिताभ बच्चन के बाद अगर कोई औरत किसी से शादी करना चाहती है तो वो गजराज राव है because he's such an understanding seriously beautiful man with a good heart and even in this movie गजराज राव जल्दी अपनी बीवी को एक्सेप्ट करते हैं मतलब वो ज़्यादा लिब्रल हैं ना and he reaches out to the wife and says कि मतलब एक I could feel कि यार कितना अच्छा पति है लेकिन जो यंग लड़का है जो यूएस में रह कर आया है जो उसका बेटा है जो ही supposedly मिलेनियल है उसको थोड़ा ज़्यादा टाइम लगता है ये समझने में कि मेरी माँ सिर्फ भगवान नहीं है एक औरत भी हो सकती है As far as Tejas's character is concerned he is apathetic to उसका कोई strong opinion नहीं होता generally generally जिन लोगों से हम उठते बैठते बहुत ज़्यादा strong opinions नहीं होते जब तक बात आपके घर पे नहीं आती correct तो और चक्कर ये है कि आप बड़े वो खो सकते हो और बहुत बहुत बड़ी बड़ी बातें कह सकते हो और Instagram और Facebook और बाकी जगह भिन्न भिन्न रंगों के झंडे लगा सकते हो पर जब अगर ये बात आपकी माँ पर आ जाए, माँ पर आ जाए, तो फिर क्या होगा? और क्यों हम हमेशा ना माँ को एक अलग औदा देते हैं? Of course बाप का भी अपना औदा होता है, पर माँ का हर किसी के लाइफ में चाहे वो लड़की हो, लड़का हो, किसी अलग जेंडर का हो, उसका औदा अलग ही होता है, और वो वो औदा बहुत सही है, माँ बहुत सैक्रि� पर कहीं उस औदे की वजह से और उस सैक्रिफाइसेस की वजह से और उस प्यार की वजह से हम उसको ना भगवान बनाकर उसकी इंसानियत उसे छीन लेते हैं जो हमने फिल्म में भी कहा है जहाँ तक गजराज सर का सवाल है इनफैक्ट वो बड़े ही अच्छे इंसान हैं पर वो अच्छाई भी कभी-कभी ना काटती है वो इतने अच्छे हैं कि वो unquestioned होते हैं अपनी wife के लिए और उनसे ये भी सवाल नहीं पूछते कि उनकी इच्छा क्या है सही बात वो assume करते हैं कि उनको बिचारों को क्या होता है पुरानी generations को गुट्टी में पिलाई गई थी कुछ चीजें और वो गुट्टी में पिलाई गई चीजें वो बिना बात की एक दूसरे के साथ चलते 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 थे वो conditioning थी उनकी क्या होता है that you are husband and wife with time एक companionship होती है it's not just sexual it's companion होती है friendship होती है and you know there there is a a base where you are in love हाँ हाँ yes तो वो उसे उनसे कहते हैं कि मुझे छोड़के नहीं जाना you know don't leave me because he needs that companionship he needs her in his life just give me a little time to get मतलब ये जो सच है वो ये सब absorb करने और इसे accept करने just give me a little time but I want you as a friend. Yeah. You know, so, so yeah. that was very sweet. किसी ने कहा था कि शादी के 25-30 साल बाद तो पति-पत्नी वैसे भी भाई-बहन हो जाते हैं और इतने भाई-बहन हो जाते हैं कि शक्लें तक मिलने लगती हैं। तो पता है आपकी शक्ल डॉक्टर मिलने से मिलने लगी है। अच्छा इतने सारे साल भी हो गए हैं। अभी वक्त है, थोड़ा वक्त है। माधुरी is so different from this world because she is such a apple of the eye of every man in the country. Casting her in such a, it's like अरे यार माधुरी मैम मिल रही हैं तो चलो कोई ऐसी फिल्म बनाते हैं जो रोमांस पे हो प्यार मोहब्बत पे हो but you choose to marry two worlds which are so earlier they were different talk about that so before I answer your question let's not confuse 
gender identity to sexual orientation. They are two absolutely right. different things. Mm. Uh, the ruling that has come now is talking about gender identity, which is beautiful. India is mm. actually one of the foremost countries to talk about the third gender in a very progressive, progressive way. way. So we should be very proud as mm -hmm. Indians that that is happening. Sexual orientation, gender identity is a huge spectrum. It's a big spectrum. And that spectrum is not going to be understood by one film or two films or ten films. True, true. That will be understood by understanding human beings. Yeah. So, when you talk about Madhuri Dikshit as somebody who is the icon of love and romance, mm. exactly why she's chosen to play Pallavi Patel in Majama, who is mm. the icon of love and romance. Mm. A romance of hearts, a romance of uh, absolute truth. Mm. Uh, now, your understanding of the romance might be slightly different or, or slightly, for the lack of a better word, conventional than the romance that exists in the world in and around you. Mm. It's about time you open eyes and see that. Yeah. So, uh, it, it's, it, it uh, makes me very proud mm. that when we look at artists like her, mm. who are so skillful, who are so experienced, who have seen the world uh, with, with all, you know, from the top, in a, with all, as much success as, as yes. possible, still take uh, challenges as, as Majama and, mm. and actually empower people like me, mm. uh, empower writers and empower makers mm. to think differently to hmm. think of stories of people whose voices may not be heard. We were having a talk between our filmmaker friends and we said that Irfan Khan ke jane ke baad, waisi kahaniya nahi likhi ja rahi hain. Kyunki aap ek actor ko soch ke, aapko lagta hai ki wo perform kar lega, us level ki story pe wo perform kar lega. So we are, we are very glad that we have different kind of actors. True. Bankable and commercial, so that the filmmakers are they can tell those stories. It's important for good actors also to exist and different kind of actors to exist for the filmmakers to grow and thrive. We have actors with a lot of credibility hmm. actually taking up these roles because that's where the sensitivity and responsibility really gets reflected. That's not just what we write on paper. That's true, that's true. Um, okay, now I want to come to a little critical aspect hmm. of the film. Uh, you know, when I watch the film, I mostly tell my mother and other women to not watch serials because somehow the serials and the TRPs thrive on the misery of the leading woman. Mm. So, you have to say that 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 you for her character, mm. Pallavi Patel's character, you know, there was this. Um, she was surrounded by so many judgmental people, negative people, and she refused to stand up a little earlier than she did. So why did you, in the script, take right. so long to make her stand thank up? You, thank you for this question, actually. Uh, honestly, when you see a jhagda in the road, we have a lot of fun to see a jhagda. We are very few people who try to stop the jhagda. If you see this film, you have said that you have to stop it, then this is also a very good litmus test for yourself. That you have already understood this thing. हो सकता है आप ये बात दस मिनट में समझ गई हो सकता है कोई और आधे घंटे में समझे कोई और एक घंटे में समझे ये बात तो as a maker slash artist अगर मेरे काम को देख के आपके मन में एक तीव्र इच्छा उठी तो मेरा काम हो गया मैंने अपना काम मेरा काम आपको सॉल्यूशंस देना है ही नहीं मेरे काम तो कहानी कहना है अगर वो तीव्र इच्छा उ now you should go up to the girl and tell her to say the truth. So this has already been my work. Now when I say the truth, I will come to the truth. The character of Pallavi Patel, we have seen in a 9-10 day period. She was the first 45 years of her. If she lived with truth for 45 years, then she would have to live with truth for 45 years. It is a very difficult thing to live with truth for 10 days. एक बहुत जाने माने इंसान है विवेक राज आनंद जी जो सीईओ हैं हम सफर ट्रस्ट के उन्होंने मुझसे बेटर आंसर कर दिया इस चीज का किसी ने पूछा कि उनको ही पूछा कि why did she come out at that stage तो उन्होंने जवाब ये दिया जो रोज रोज मिलते हैं ऐसे लोगों से जिनके ये सच कहीं उनके बीच छुपे होते हैं कि वो पिन से बाहर तो आ गई अब उस सच के साथ जूझना भी है आपको उसके साथ रहना भी है तो रहना उनने कैसे सीखा होगा ना एक औरत जो डोमेस्टिकेटेड लाइफ में पूरी तरह से बिलोंग करती है उसको अध्यार करती है एक बेस्ट माँ एक बेस्ट पत्नी एक बेस्ट सोसाइटी की वूमन होने के लिए वो अपनी जिंदगी लगा देती है अब उसको कहा जा रहा है अब हम आपसे ये सब ले लेंगे क्योंकि एक सच शायद आपका बाहर आ गया अब आप इससे जूझो और हमको ये भी बताओ कि एक्चुअली आप प्राउड 
तो ये समझने भी तो नौ दिन दस दिन ग्यारह दिन शायद और जिंदगी लग जाएंगे कितने लोग हैं जो आज तक उससे बाहर नहीं आए Hmm. उस सच को बाहर नहीं निकाल पाए देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट वी मेट हु इन क्लोज क्वार्टर्स विल टेल देम टेल अस व्हाट देयर प्रेफरेंसेस सेक्सुअल ओरिएंटेशंस एंड द ट्रूथ्स दैट दे हैव लिव्ड विद आर बट स्टिल डोंट हैव द द एजेंसी एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ इट्स 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 वेरी डिफिकल्ट द सोसाइटी डजंट मेक इट इजी सो यू कैन नॉट tell them what we as a choice took with yeah. me that her truth is hers mm. you and i don't have the agency to tell her when to bring it out mm. or how to bring it out mm. uh, hence wo tara ke character yeah. se humne wo dikhaya jo puri tarah se apni mummy ke piche padi hoti hai yeah. ki mummy tumhe to bahar nikalne hai tumhe to kehna hi hai yeah. par wo wo usne wo zindagi nahi ji ha huh. to uske liye bada aasan hai kehna ki tum bahar ho aur keh do hum audience ko ye na kahe ki iski zindagi ke sath ab na hame nahi pata kya hua hum ab aapko utopia denge हम कहेंगे एक परिवार है जिसको Actually, समझ में आ गई yeah, yeah, अभी yeah. वो यूटोपिया आपको लगे अरे तो बहुत ज्यादा दिखा करेक, करेक. हमें कोई उससे आपत्ति नहीं yeah. पर वो जो इंसान है जो इस सच के साथ जी रहा है ना उसको होप देना बड़ा जरूरी है कि ये सच आपके साथ शायद हो सकता है yeah. तो ये मेरा काम है बाकी अच्छा बुरा तो लोग ऑल्सो आई थिंक हम क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं थ्रू द मूवी एक्सेप्टेंस जी और फैमिली में अगर कोई ऐसा है तो लोगों को यही डर रहता है कि लोग क्या कहेंगे लोग क्या कहेंगे लोग क्या कहेंगे सोसाइटी हाँ यू व्यू सोसाइटी एज अ वेरी गुड मेटाफर हाँ इन द मूवी तो लोग क्या कहेंगे लेकिन बेटा या बेटी या माँ या जो पिताजी वो तो आपके हैं ना तो लोगों क्या क्या है उसमें अगर आप एक्सेप्ट करते हो तो लोगों को तो एक्सेप्ट करना ही करना पड़ेगा यू नो सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू से वी आर सेंग एक्सेप्ट मतलब जो है एक्सेप्ट द ट्रूथ और जैसे हैं वो आपके ही फैमिली के हैं दैट्स ट्रू सो जस्ट एक्सेप्ट देम फॉर हु दे आर बट दिस मूवी इज स्टिल ऑन एन ओटीटी प्लेटफार्म व्हाई नॉट द बिग स्क्रीन इट इज ऑन द बिगेस्ट स्क्रीन यू पॉसिबली कैन वॉच इट अगर आप प्रोजेक्टर है तो आपने आगे चल रहे हैं प्रोजेक्टर पे आके देखिए आप इतने बड़े देख सकते हैं अच्छा मैं आई नहीं तो बड़ी स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं और आप लोग ट्रैवल करते करते फोन पे देखना है तो आपकी आपकी बात कैसी होती है लेकिन देखिए हमारा ऑडियंस एक थिएटर के 700 लोग नहीं है हमारा ऑडियंस इज लाइक 200 मूवीज 200 मूवीज व्हेन आई ओपन माय स्मार्ट टीवी आई हैव YouTube शॉर्ट्स पे आई जस्ट सॉ दैट इन द मॉर्निंग सो टेबल के पीछे क्या है सो दिस इज अ शो ऑन कलर्स वेयर शी इज जजिंग अ डांस शो एंड शी टॉक्स अबाउट बिहाइंड द सीन्स एंड ये देख लो सो शी हैज अ YouTube चैनल वेयर शी टॉक्स अबाउट स्किन केयर शी टॉक्स अबाउट हेयर केयर आई हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड यूजिंग दैट हां सरसों के तेल में करी पत्ता एंड मेथी के दाने गो चेक दैट आउट सो शी इज डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ बीटीएस स्टफ आल्सो शी इज शी सिट्स विद अ हस्बैंड एंड द बॉयज एंड देयर इज अ डिफरेंट पर्सन देयर and then you still manage to keep that queen's chair what are the things that you think you're doing right for you to be in that space what are the things that a woman must do right never play safe i never always like safe. to challenge myself nice and you think when i first started doing my youtube i was not uncomfortable mm. i was really uncomfortable because i've never done that before mm. but i like to put myself in those situations because then you learn a lot from it mm. and it's a challenge Hmm. and each time you take up a challenge it takes you a step further you know hmm. uh, and um, kabhi aisa mat karo ki abhi ye main comfortable yahi karungi main i am not going to do something else hmm. it's not that you hmm. know you have to keep challenging when i produced my first marathi film yeah. even though i am from this uh, industry hmm. like even my husband didn't know ki hmm. what goes on behind the scenes or what yeah. production is all about hmm. we always been in front of the camera hmm. so for the first time we did that and hmm. we were successful and we made a great film hmm. and we sold it to another channel which hmm. i won't say which uh, but another <laughs> channel and uh, i've made my second film called panchak uh, which we are waiting to release panchak to, panchak panchak hmm. it's a marathi film it's a marathi okay. film uh but it, it's again a very uh, nice take on i will talk about okay. it when it comes hmm. uh but so i always keep challenging myself hmm. and when you keep challenging you refresh yourself every time yeah yeah and then you can you are relevant you go on with times hmm. and uh you know even when i was like in doing commercial films like hmm. i said hmm. i did amrityudan i did a parinda i yeah. think because it challenged me to do something different yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, so and that's how i think everybody should look at life look at it as a challenge don't say bahut si matlab i'm telling you a lot of women themselves say ab to kya hai exactly. ab to ho gaya ha ab, ab kya, kya beta ab hamari kya zindagi bachi hai kya bachi hai abhi to inka i say why do you say that yeah kyunki zindagi aapki bhi hai Correct. you know it's your even pallavi finally she says this life is mine Le, main kab bolu kya bolu kisse bolu ye meri responsibility kisi aur ki nahi hai yeah. you know so that should be your choice yeah. and if you yourself say ki abhi to kya ho gaya to matlab agar exactly. people around to you say to sab bolenge pe ho gaya tumhara ha correct 
So I That's mean, that's true. Yeah, sometimes you have to stand against people who will say, "Arey, bas karo, abhi aap to ye ho gaye, aap to ghar pe baato." I don't. That's nice. Mujhe jo karna hai, wo main karungi. You know. Hmm. So. so take a chance. Basically, yeah, take, take a chance, chance, take risks, and uh, don't bound yourself. <laughs> <laughs>